Welcome to Chinese Finance and Economy Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Evergrande faces renewed liquidation risk in wind-up hearing. Hong Kong Airport Authority confident traffic can hit 2019 level this year. Evergrande faces renewed liquidation risk in wind-up hearing. Bloomberg. China Evergrande Group will return to court in Hong Kong to defend itself against liquidation. The firm, which is debt-laden and has $327 billion in liabilities, has failed to make progress towards a restructuring agreement with creditors. Evergrande's liquidation would be a blow to China's stock market and would weaken confidence in the housing industry. Offshore creditors want a controlling stake in Evergrande as part of the debt discussion. Hong Kong Airport Authority confident traffic can hit 2019 level this year. South China Morning Post. Hong Kong International Airport is confident it can restore passenger traffic to pre-pandemic levels by the end of 2022, but acknowledges that it depends on various factors such as demand from mainland China and an increase in flight capacity by flag carrier Cathay Pacific Airways. The airport handled 39.5 million passengers in 2021, or 55% of the 71.5 million passengers recorded in 2019. It aims to have 69,000 workers by the end of this year and has applied to bring in 6,300 staff as part of a citywide effort to import 20,000 workers. Greetings, viewers of the Six Degree Briefing. I am Dr. Hex, your resident observer from the world of Six Degrees. Today, we have some interesting news to discuss, so let's dive right in. First up, we have the ever-enthralling saga of China Evergrande Group. This debt-laden giant is facing renewed liquidation risk as it heads back to court in Hong Kong. With a staggering $327 billion in liabilities, Evergrande's failure to reach a restructuring agreement with its creditors is causing concern. Not only would Evergrande's liquidation be a blow to China's stock market, but it would also weaken confidence in the housing industry. The offshore creditors are even vying for a controlling stake in Evergrande as part of the debt discussion. It's a high-stakes game of financial poker, and the outcome could have far-reaching effects. Moving on to Hong Kong, we have news from the aviation sector. The Hong Kong Airport Authority is confidently predicting a return to pre-pandemic passenger traffic levels by the end of this year. However, achieving this goal depends on several factors, including demand from mainland China and an increase in flight capacity by Cathay Pacific Airways. In 2021, the airport handled 55% of the number of passengers recorded in 2019, with a total of 39.5 million travelers. To support its ambitions, the airport aims to have 69,000 workers by the end of this year, and it has applied to import 6,300 staff as part of a citywide effort to bring in 20,000 workers. So, buckle up, folks, because Hong Kong's aviation industry is gearing up for takeoff. Now, let's dive into some analysis. The situation with Evergrande is a ticking time bomb that could have dire consequences for China's economy. The sheer magnitude of its debts and the potential impact on the stock market and housing industry are cause for concern. The outcome of the liquidation risk and debt discussions will be closely watched by investors and stakeholders alike. As for Hong Kong's aviation industry, the confidence in a return to pre-pandemic passenger traffic levels is both optimistic and ambitious. While the demand from mainland China is crucial, the role of Cathay Pacific Airways in increasing flight capacity cannot be overlooked. The success of these efforts will not only be a boost for Hong Kong's economy but also a sign of recovery for the global travel industry. And now, I turn to you, my astute viewers. What are your thoughts on Evergrande's debt crisis and the potential impact on China's economy? Do you think Hong Kong's aviation industry can achieve its goal of restoring passenger traffic to pre-pandemic levels by the end of this year? Share your insights, questions, and banter in the comments section below. Let's keep the discussion lively and engaging. That's all for today's briefing. Stay tuned for more intriguing news from the fascinating world of Six Degrees. Until next time, this is Dr. Hex signing off. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief by email.